Italian cinema during the 80s was prolific, and a great deal of lower budgeted action horror entertainment was to be had. Since pretty much the advent of the 90s though, not only did the output of films suffer, but the quality and investment too. For the last few years Italian cinema has made some particular effort to address such sad state of affairs, and has delivered some old style Italian goodness for a modern audience worthy of days gone by. Italian filmmaking of the movie modest kind snapping away and worthy of checking out. Well now along comes a horror with all the trappings of Italian 80s styled gothic gore goodness that dares to have grabbed hold. An attention most worthy of praise is following in the wake of Crucified. Directed by Claudio Natanzi and starring Italian gut muncher go-to guy Giovanni Lombardo Redis aka John Morgan from infamous Italian 80s outings such as Cannibal Ferox, City of the Living Dead, Cannibal Apocalypse and Stage Fright. Not to mention special effects here done by the brilliantly talented Sergio Stivaletti from days gone by as well who has worked with such greats as Dario Argento, Lucio Fulci, Lamberto Barba and Sergio Martino. A coming together then of some of Italy's very best proponent players that helped make the country's movie making output and style throughout the 80s so very good and memorable. The talent is still with us so it makes great sense to turn to them to help bring back the filmmaking flair and fun that the Italians have been so good at. Bring these older and wiser filmmakers back to the fore and let them work with a new generation of Italian cinema filmmakers. And movies such as Crucified Here can get made and have world cinema filmgoers putting Italy back on the movie map. Crucified starts in cracking creepy cool fashion. One dark night in the woods a frightened girl is stalked by a creepy old man who is carrying a lantern. Looking like Orson Welles from those old Paul Masson wine commercials back in the day that played on TV in the 70s. The old guy catches up to the girl and pushes an iron nail directly into her heart. Way to go, Grandad Ghoul! The movie then jumps to the future day and a post apocalyptic world set in the dark and around a fallen city which comes startling into shot. An epidemic of old school biblical type has fallen upon the world and if links to the past and an ancient evil uprisen seeking to manifest itself in this new world time. An old man wonderfully portrayed by Giovanni Lombardo Redis named here Steiner heads up a small group of women and a particular young woman who seems to be related and a fellow scientist to Steiner. Both seeking a cure to this terrible affliction that sends the infected out into the dark and seeking blood. The infected are often the innocent just seeking shelter or are running away but are hunted down by the exterminators. And the exterminators seek out Steiner, rightly or wrongly, in an upside down world where the line of good and evil is blurred. With cool accompanying music, solid acting, returning familiar faces and good old Italian 80s charm and style, Crucified proves to be a new Italian horror that nails it. It even delivers a nice nod at times with its music and movement to the spaghetti western 
of a shawl in its neat retribution delivery on screen, serving up a gun-totting kick-ass female protagonist for a spaghetti horror that delivers a fistful of nails crucified. With its impressive landscape of a post-nuke apocalyptic design, with neatly overladen matte work that is near impossible to notice here, the set work on show is so good. Steiner believes, as a theology teacher in his early days, before the pandemic, that all of the disasters now befallen upon mankind are a part of some greater insidious evil plan. And of course, he has proven not to be wrong here in Crucified. This is a future so bleak, you just gotta be in Hades. Ages, centuries old, monstrous evil, lurks and man is but a pawn in its pernicious play, with the exterminators hunting down the pieces upon its blackened board. Crucified is a deliciously welcome 6.5 out of 10 Italian 80s comeback to be excited by. It's black, bleak and perturbingly good. Very atmospheric with a small but well cast ensemble of actors and delivers big on impact both visually and story wise. Even the director Claudio Latanzi has greatly improved with age and clearly further movie making education as his previous effort of Zombie 5 Killing Birds from 1987 was pretty poor and of course made closer to the then quick decline of the 80s terrific cycle for Italian cinema. Claudio Latanzi works very well with what he has here at his disposal and clearly makes the most of a second opportunity to make good on the promised talent he has. Crucified is a great example if it was ever needed to show what can be done when you have at your disposal old school talent and just add belief in a apply a better backing and mix together and all of this is what you get Italian 80s goodness back on the plate with some tasty new era accoutrements. The movie uses its minimistic veneer applied with a taut atmosphere to the drama to the horror max and delivers a tight little terror to take away with you and etches out a great deal of dynamic dread and eeky gore effects here throughout as well is perfectly compact in its 70 minutes running time to dine out on for a good long while after viewing. Plague your viewing subscription services or just go buy this and find out for yourselves who or what Patient Zero is that Steiner seeks before he and his followers all get crucified. Stay around for the pretty impressive a memorable old school silent horror film styled homage that delivers a delicious nod to classic horror film for fans and general movie goers alike. A monumental meaning and the perfect resurrection analogy for Italian cinema as well. This one is groovy good crucified cool. Thanks for watching. Ciao. For now.